How's it going, everybody? So, today is going to be, a, as you can see by the title, a pretty helpful video for you guys that are currently trying to farm for the Halloween 2023 aura. Like, I'm sure some of us may or may not be doing anymore because that is a lot of coins. Oh, my lord. But, uh, with this method, it shouldn't be that bad as long as you have stuff you can do in the meantime. So, as you saw, this is a way to AFK farm it. And I can prove to you that after one day of AFK farming, aka I went to bed, woke, went to bed, woke up, went to work, and I just got back, and I have a grand total after all of that, one day of basically fifty thousand Halloween coins. So this method does work. As you can see, I could quite literally buy everything in the shop right now, which I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna do that real quick. Let me just do it. Let me just do it. Let me do it. Just so I have them, because I'm gonna need all of these for a separate video later, which is gonna be about all the outfits. Cool, that's done. Anyway, so what actually is the method? So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be needing to use one a application called Tiny Task, which I think I closed because I'm a stupid head. But I will be opening that in a second. You saw all my tabs. How dare you? Get out, get out, get your, get out of my computer. Anyway, so in order to actually do this farm, you need to basically find any group of enemies that you can kill fairly quickly and fairly easily. The group I've been farming in particular has been in Jungle Island, and it was these group of six right here. Sure, there's probably more higher groups of enemies I could farm that would give more. Like you know, there's these guys, which are the same thing. Group of six. But you get the idea. So if you could find a group of enemies that are fairly clumped together and a decent number that you can kill fairly quickly, it would be a good farm to do. I'm gonna just go back to these guys because these are the ones I've been doing all day. So, I will, uh, what you need to do is get, again, the program Tiny Task, which I'll be pulling up uh, in a second. I'm probably gonna cut this out so you don't see more of my computer because <laughs> get out of my computer. Anyway, be right back. Anyway, so this is Tiny Task right here. As you can see, it is a little tiny, pro tiny itty bitty program that lets you do sir that basically records your actions and helps you with what you're doing. So I'll go over basically everything that it does here, just so you can save it. So you can save programs, which I probably should have done before closing out mine, but whatever. So you can save. So when you make a recording, you can save it and it'll basically save that command so you could just reopen it. Open is obvious, you just open a command, yada yada. Chord is where you go to actually record your commands, so where we, I'll be showing this off once we actually get started. Play is obvious. .exe, uh, I don't know. Anyway, and then preferences, these are all the settings. So you have different speeds that you can play your things at, custom speeds, Playback loops, use playbacks, recording hotkeys, playback stuff, a bunch of a bunch of stuff. But the important thing here is I personally use continuous playback. Because sure, you could set a playback loop, which would be like you could set a manual number of playbacks you wanted to do. But unless you know exactly how long you're going to be gone for, that's kind of hard to gauge. So I just do continuous playback. Once it uh, basically what that means is once it play hits. You hit play, it just never stops. It just keeps going over and over and over again and to infinity. Anyway, so how would you actually start this farm is you need two things. Well, tiny task is one, and then you need hurricane blade, which everybody has. As you can see, you basically do that, you get a bunch of coins. So how do you do this in order to actually do the farm? Well, I like to just be in Super Saiyan. You don't have to, I just like doing it because it takes less key to do hurricane blade but once you have tiny task open here's an example of how you do it so once you hit this button it's going to record everything you do so record go back hurricane blade charge your key got to make sure you charge your key otherwise it won't do it technically you could stop here but i like to do two loops just to make sure it works so you wait for everything to respawn and once it respawns as you can see hurricane blade again and then charge. 
and I'll let your backup default. Go back up here, and hit stop, and hit record to stop it. So now, I'm going to hit the play button, and I'm going to take my hands off the controller, off the mouse and keyboard, and off my mouse entirely. I'm just going to let TinyTask do it, so you can see for yourself. So my hands are completely off. As you can see, the program is currently running what I just told it to do, which is Hurricane Blade to charge, and then wait until the enemies come back, Hurricane Blade, and charge again. For right now, I am not even touching my keyboard and mouse. I'm just letting it do it. It's very handy. As you can see, you are now effectively AFK farming uh, coins. You don't even have to touch it. It's pretty good. See, once it uh, starts up again here. Yeah, technically I messed up a little bit there. I should have changed it. I ended it before the, uh, yeah, I ended it before the enemies came back. So that's kind of a messed up recording, but you get the basic idea. Let's see if I can do a better one that is less butts, just for example sake. So record. Charge key. We're just going to let everything respawn. It's going to take a minute, I guess. Then charge button, charge key. And this time I'm probably going to wait till they respawn before I uh, end the recording again. Because I think that's the issue I had the first time. Then I go back in here and turn it off. We're going to try it again. Again, I am not touching my uh, mouse and keyboard right now. I'm just letting the program do its thing. We're going to see if this one worked a little better. It's a little early, but OK. Uh, let's see. Yep, as you can see, it's now running automatically without me having to even interact with it. But that's the basics of how this little uh, thing works. And as you can see, you can just turn it off whenever you want. Now, if I wanted, I could save this and then reopen it, but I probably would make a new one personally because that one's a little scuffed. Even, I, mean, I mean, it's better, it works, but it's still just a smidge bit scuffed. But as you can see, that's the basis of how you have K farm tokens. Now, if you do that for a good few hours, you end up with what you saw earlier, which is, well, this. So that's the basics of how you AFK farm these tokens. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. And uh, yeah, good luck on your farming. And hope you don't go insane because if you don't have uh, anything to do in the meantime, like if you don't have school or if you're not at work and you're just kind of hanging out, you'll have to do something else and not touch your computer for like 12 hours. Because that's what I did. But how's that work? So that worked out. But either way, uh, questions, comments, concerns down below. Like, comment, subscribe, yada yada, you random YouTube jargon. Uh, see you.